Hi, brother. Teacher here. I'm back. I uh, have some information for you, and I've done this before, some years ago, maybe as early as the last year, past year, and that is share some things that you should have on board in your home as it relates to your body's uh, apothecary, if you will, or a medicine cabinet. So, for optimum health, there are some things that you must get on board with. First of all, let's understand this. Any food that has ingredients contained therein is not food. Understand that right off the bat. Everything that comes from nature is what it is. It comes complete with how it was designed after its kind so forth. If you package it and you add things to it, especially things from a laboratory, it is denatured. It is no longer what it was originally. Only part of what it was. So there are some things that are natural that you need to instill into your diet, into your regimen. You need to learn about. You need to get some information about. And start applying these things to your life. Especially if you have ill health or you have issues with obesity and high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer, and so on and so forth. These are things that we must do. Many of us have never done it before. There are some of us that fell off at some point in time, or we did part of this, so to speak. We no longer live in an after agriculture environment where our grandparents are growing things in the garden, and we are on a farm, and so on and so forth. We are industrialized, and there's a lot of chemicals and toxic waste material that's in our food products and even in our waters. So with that said, I'm going to give you some things on this list that you must make sure that you stay with. Now, let's not be ridiculous. All of these things that I'm going to give you, some of them are done in teas. Some of them are done in smoothies. Some of them are done in their raw form. Please do your due diligence and study so you know for yourself. And not always have to push a button to go online to find the answers to everything that you're trying to seek out in the world. Learn these things by trial and error sometimes. Start applying these things and start applying yourself to these things so that you can live a holistic or a more holistic life. So, all of the things that I'm putting on this list, I'm going to make it an attempt to put them in the comment section below to list them there. Make sure you archive this stuff as I said before. Copy these things down. Get your journal, get your notebook and write all these ingredients down, all these different remedies and potions and what have you whatever you want to call them write them down and get to know them get well acquainted with these things these are things that you should have in your house weekly if not daily okay sea moss garlic turmeric or turmeric cayenne pepper celery ginger parsley distilled water lemons or limes or both onions pomegranate apple cider vinegar with the mother extra virgin olive oil blueberries blackberries strawberries watermelon black seed oil chlorella spirulina ashwagandha milk thistle salt palmetto apples grapes with the seeds magnesium citrate baking soda real baking soda activated charcoal and bentonite clay now if you didn't catch all of that just look in the comment section I'm gonna also put it in the comment section please this video may not stay up for long we don't know but make sure that you at least minimally copy these things down you need to start taking better care of your health. I'm speaking to myself as well. You know, I share this information with you from many years of study and experience in these herbs and these remedies, if you will. I have dealt with hypertension for quite a while. I'm older, and all of you all that are past 35, 40 years old and into your 50s and above, you need to take note, especially you. Activity lack thereof that is if you're not active anymore you are subject to disease and ill health you are it's a reality 
when we were younger, we ate better, we moved a lot, we played, we ran, we skipped, we jumped, we were very active. And for some reason in America, many adults don't do that anymore. And when you slow down your physical activity, guess what? Your body slows down internally and it's not functioning and will not function up to par. So get off the couch so much get out of that easy chair stop driving so much walk sometimes jog sometimes jump rope sometimes stay active to keep your heart strong so that you keep the blood and oxygenated blood if you will flowing throughout your body and you stay healthy or as healthy as you possibly can in these later years that's really it and that's all comment below so long